So I wanted to make a video on how to do a forced regen on a LS tractor. Uh, this applies on any LS tractor with the LS tier four engine. So either that be the 1.9 liter three cylinder or the 2.5 liter four cylinder. Um, they were made from 2015 on as far as I know. Um, the tractor I'm working on today is a MT352H. Um, this uh, was the uh, newer version of the XR4100 series. Um, this also would apply to like the XG3100s um, and like I said, anything with the LS tier four engine, not the Shibaro engine, the LS engine. So first I wanted to go over the lights. So right here you got three lights. So that one right there, turn it on again. So that one right there, if that one is flashing once a second, it's telling you, hey, I need to regen. Uh, if it's flashing twice a second, then you're probably gonna have to have your dealer plug in their laptop and clear out the code so that it can do a regen. But as long as you do the regen when it's telling you to, you shouldn't get to that stage. So, while you're using the tractor, and it goes, it, if it goes into a regen on its own, this light will turn on solid. And then eventually, the one to the left of it, this one here with the temperature gauge will turn on. Um, when that one is on solid, make sure you do not turn off the engine. The exhaust gets up to about 1100 degrees. You don't want to shut the engine off and just have all that heat sit there. It's bad for it. So before you turn the engine off, make sure those lights are off like they are right now. Or if it is on and you don't want it to regen now, if you want to have it do the regen later, what you can do is this button right here. And on some other tractors, it might be located here on the steering wheel where this hazard is. Um, but here on this MT3, it's located here. So you just push that down, count to like 10 or so. Now this light right here is on and that's a disabled light. Uh, and then to re-enable that, you could either hold that switch up until it turns off, or just the next time you start the engine, it'll go back into automatic mode. And it'll do a regen while you're using the tractor. Um, it, they usually take somewhere between 10 to 20 minutes, but uh, it depends on how loaded the DPF is. Now, if you wanna do a forced regen, or sometimes called a parked regen, what you need to do is the throttle needs to be all the way down, foot off the foot throttle if it has one. This is a hydrostat, so it does not. Uh, parking brake needs to be on. So in this model, it's over here by the seat. Make sure it's on. The parking light is on. And the engine has to be Oh, about 100 degrees or so or more. So if it's a cold day, you might need to let it idle for a little bit first. Once all that's achieved, see I already got the engine warmed up. Start the engine, and then this regen switch here, hold it up. I went ahead to disable it so you guys can hear me, but uh, the engine goes up to idle, or will go up to full speed. After about 10 to 20 minutes, it'll come back down to idle and then it's done. So that's how you do a forced regen on these LS engines.